I'm Tom Maloney with Lakeshore Public Radio 89.1 FM. It's Monday, August 17th, 2020. Stay tuned for the latest on the swimming advisory on Lake Michigan, the latest on future plans for the Ileana Motor Speedway, and coronavirus hospitalizations have stabilized. The National Weather Service has extended swimming advisories for parts of Lake Michigan as forecasters predict high waves and strong currents. The Times reports that beach hazard statements were issued Sunday and now run into Tuesday evening. Officials are urging people to stay out of the water. Lake Porter and LaPorte counties in Indiana are under advisories. So are Cook and Lake counties in Illinois, as well as Michigan's Berrien County. A 16-year-old boy remains missing, and the search team resumed at daybreak today after he was pulled under the water of Lake Michigan by large waves and rip currents at Portage River Walk and Lakefront yesterday. DNR Conservation Officer Terry Milifolgi told the Times a group of five male teams, teens from Illinois were swimming at the lakefront at around 11 o'clock Sunday morning when the waves pulled them under. Two teens rec- rescued themselves. Two others were hospitalized after a good Samaritan and a on a jet ski rode in to help. Officers also responded to a drowning at Porter Beach that sent a man to a hospital where he remains in critical condition. There were several other water rescues this past weekend in Lake and Porter counties. Officials in Cherville are hoping to turn a racetrack that closed in 2016 into a business park that can lure new industries and jobs to the region. The town of Cherville plans to turn the former Ileana Motor Speedway into a business park once it gets approval to rezone the property. The speedway opened in 1945. The town acquired the 50-acre track after it closed in 2016. Town manager Robert Volkman envisions professional offices, light industrial facilities, and other businesses filling the site. Four Indiana cities are suing video streaming services, including Netflix and Hulu, seeking seeking to require them to pay the same franchise fees to local governments that cable companies must pay. The Times reports that the class action lawsuit filed this month argues that Netflix, Disney, Hulu, DirecTV, and Dish Network must pay a 5% franchise fee of gross revenue to the localities where their customers reside. An estimate of how much money is owed was not provided. The lawsuit was filed by the cities of Valparaiso, Fishers, Indianapolis, and Evansville. Indiana health officials have reported six coronavirus-related deaths across the state, while COVID-19 hospitalizations have stabilized following a significant jump earlier in the summer. The newly recorded deaths released to increase, excuse me, to 3,135 the number of people in Indiana who have died with confirmed or presumed coronavirus infections. Four of the new deaths happened on Sunday. State statistics show that Indiana hospitals were treating 900 patients with COVID-19 respiratory disease on Sunday, down from about 1,000 two weeks ago. Indiana's COVID-19 hospitalizations have grown by more than 50% since late June. In sports, Major League Baseball, the Chicago Cubs, still in first place at 13-6, and six, have lost three straight as they welcome into the friendly confines the St. Louis Cardinals for a doubleheader starting at 4:15 today. The Cubs are in first place in the NL Central, while the Cards are 4-4 four and, four and in third place. St. Louis has had to reschedule several games due to outbreaks of COVID-19 in their clubhouse. The White Sox, who are 11-11, welcome in the Detroit Tigers for a four-game series beginning at 7-10 tonight. The Sox are in third place in the AL Central. The Tigers are in fourth at 9-10. It's winner-take-all tonight as the Northwest Indiana Oilmen host the DuPage County Hounds at 7-10. DuPage took game one on Saturday while the Oilmen won on Sunday. If victorious, the Oilmen will take home their fourth MCL championship in nine seasons. If the Hounds win, it will be their second championship. In the NHL, the Blackhawks stay alive for another day following their win or go home victory on Sunday, 3 to 1, over the Las Vegas Golden Knights. The Knights hold a 3 to 1 series advantage. Game 5 is Tuesday night at 9:30 and again, win or go home for the Blackhawks. In the NBA, the Pacers tip off against the Miami Heat tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock in Game 1 of their best-of-seven opening round series in the NBA playoffs. Looking at your Lakeshore weather forecast tonight, partly cloudy skies, a low near 59. Tuesday, mostly sunny, a high near 76. Windy, though, with gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny skies, a high near 80. 
Thursday, sunny, a high near 83. For Lakes Republic Radio 89.1 FM, I'm Tom Maloney. This has been your midday news update. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share.